Good afternoon everybody. Well, you know what time it is. It's that time of the day. <laughs> and what a day I've had. Oh boy. First of all, oh mate, I tell ya. I went to, to, I decided to walk to Pacific Fair, try and get my steps up. I didn't go for a ride this morning. Last night actually, well, old Brian came over and well, we started hitting the, um, the, that uh, tequila and before I knew it, I was smashing hamburgers into me at about 11 o'clock last night. <laughs> it was a big night. <laughs> like most of my nights are. Jeez, it's starting to become a pretty bad habit, isn't it? Although, is it a bad habit? Well, we'll see. And so I walked there today and I thought, well, first of all, Justin Kamlowski, that's right, isn't it? Justin Kamlowski, thank you very much for your uh, beer fund donation. In fact, he suggested that I go and buy some um, beer glasses with his beer fund donation. So I thought, right here, I'll go down to Pack Fair. That's got every shop you can think of. So I went down there and do you think I could find a beer glass anywhere? Oh, I didn't even go to David Jones. That's where I probably could have got some. Ah, well. So then I, well, I went to Dan's, uh, the one close to here, and they had these beer glasses and they were all sold out. So then I jumped online, I was looking everywhere and I finally found some at Dan's at Miami. So I went and rode the bike down there and Hey, that'll shut some people up. I finally got a beer glass. Now this is a craft beer glass. It's not the, like the bulbous end ones, but I figure this is gonna hold all the beer I can imagine. I'm not sure how many mils it is. I'm guessing it's about 365 or something. So it should easily hold uh, some drinks. So no more complaining I'm gonna hear today. Uh, um, so anyway, uh, while I was at Pack Fair, I I went into um, Kmart and picked up a, another pair of black jeans. These ones are more grey. I'm not wearing them, but they were nineteen dollars. So I thought, uh, do I need another pair? Well, I know, old mate. Um, he has two pairs in case he shits one of them. <laughs> so I thought, ah, oh, yeah, that, that's probably a good idea at our age. So. I went and scanned it, it came up 12 bucks. 12 bucks for a pair of jeans! And they fit too, really well. So I'm happy. Then I went to, then I went to um, Woolworths, right? And there's this lady with her trolley, just pushing it around. And she's looking in it. And then she pulls out like these muffins. And, well, she just takes them out and then puts them like in the chocolate aisle. And I thought, how lazy. How lazy do you have to be just to put something not to, I mean, just to take it out and just put it somewhere where it doesn't belong. Why don't you just go back to the muffin aisle and stick it where you got it from? God, I, I swear she would have had, like, a, my burning eyes right through the back of her head. She, she must have been walking along going like this later on going, Oh, gee, ooh, what's that feeling? Yeah, that was me, lady. I hate these lazy people. Anyway, today I'm going to christen this beer glass with a amber ale. Now this is the Little Creatures Rogers and it's a 3.8% so that's a, a different sort of mid-strength. It's an American amber ale. There's a little bit of spiel on it. What's it say? Well, uh, roasted caramel malt flavors balanced with light citrus hop notes and a fine bitterness to find this easy drinking but full flavoured amber beer. Alrighty, eh? Well, I can't wait to see it in my new glass. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, Justin reckons this will help with the aroma and the taste and getting the most out of the head. So, thank you very much, Justin. Really kind of you. Now, I'm guessing it's not a twist stop. Now, this is made in um, Western Australia, Fremantle, the Little Creatures factory. So, Perth water, this is. Well, Western Australian water. How 
How are you supposed to pour this? Is that right? Is that right into these glasses? Look at that. It takes the whole thing. <laughs> Finally, I'll, the people hopefully will stop complaining. Oh, there you go. Wow. Is that what? That's an amber ale? No, what, what colour is this supposed to be? Yeah. Well, that looks a bit stouty, doesn't it? But, oh, I mean, it looks alright. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yum diddly scrumptious. And look, I can hold it and my beer won't go warm. Oh, that does help with the aroma. Mmm, it's very sweet smelling. <sighs> and your problem is when you smell it too much, then you can't smell it anymore. Oh, it just smells uh, florally and sort of nice smelling. Yeah. Anyway, down the hatch. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yes, just got a nice mix of malts and hops there. I I'm, I'm not getting too much hops in this. It's more a malty sort of taste, this one. And the hops, they so, it sort of disappears pretty quickly off the tongue. Tastes pretty good. Mm. It's not exactly like a, a full, full strength taste, but the taste that is there for a 3.8 is pretty good. It's got lots of flavor, this. It's, it's just nice. It's, it's easy drinking. It'd definitely be a session ale and a 3.8%. I reckon that's a really good percentage if you're going to have a, uh, well, a pretty big session. Mate, this is, um, it's really tasty. Easy to drink. It's not, it hasn't got that really bitey, dry, hoppy aftertaste. It's just nice and normal and um, a really nice blend and a, a good mix. Yeah, this is really good. Mm. I feel pretty posh with this glass. Do I look posh now? Well, I feel posh anyway. But that's not bad. The old, what is it called? Rogers. <laughs> Tell you what, a few after a few of these, you might start feeling like a Roger. But um, I wonder what the, the old app says about it. We'll see what people think. Now, I reckon that tasted pretty good. And I would, uh, I'd probably be likely to give it a, a 3.75, I reckon. That's what I'd be giving it, if I was me. Now, it's got a 3.4, so that's pretty good, actually. Out of 9,300 check-ins. Velvet smooth, Rogers beer weaves together the best whole hop flavours and toasted malts into a sil silky mid-strength ale like no other. Yeah, and it's nice. It's sort of malty. Yeah, it is smooth. It's it's not dry at all. It's pretty good. And uh, it's got some good flavours there. I wonder what everyone else thinks. Three and a half. A great mid-strength. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, another three and a half. A four. 3.75. 3.25. Yeah. Well, everyone's around that three and a half-ish sort of mark up to four. It's quite a few fours actually. I was tempting on a four, but no, you can't go too high too early, can you? But uh, yeah, that's a good little ale, that one. I'm enjoying that one. And if you're looking for a good meat strength, uh, that one would be a pretty good one to get. So there you go, there's the Rogers. And uh, I can see my neighbors. Ah. Oh, there's the, uh, the English guy. He's actually leaving back to England today. He's on a flight back home. So he was kind of excited. But then he was, like last night I was talking to him and he's like, oh, I'm going to really miss being here. He doesn't really want to go home, but well, he's got family there, a wife and kids. So <laughs> he's got to go. So anyway, I'm going to go too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time I drink a beer. Hopefully I've got some good stories to tell too. Cheers.